Hello everybody, this is Coach D. <clears throat> Here with TackleTrading.com. I want to work on the stock report this week. Uh, let's start out here by looking at the broad markets and looking at those core sector. I got the core six sectors that I look at, so I'm going to go ahead and expand that out and maximize that out. We'll start out here with the SPY. And <clears throat> from what I see here on the SPY 1, you got to pay attention to um, the calendar this week and in between the holiday break here. Um, next couple of days of trading are historically just super light volume. And uh, we did indeed get the bit of a Santa Claus rally right through here. And you know, last week we had the market close um, with the doji right before the holiday at that 200 period moving average, kind of in that general trend zone. Um, and I don't expect major movement this week, probably just more consolidation in here. Um, you got a lot of overhead resistance, and again, that 200 period moving average is a big factor. Um, it is the market is coming out for the double bottom, and market is closed on uh, Friday in observance of New Year's Day. New Year's Eve, the market's open, but the volume's really, really light, doesn't tend to do much. So the remainder of this week, really don't expect a ton of movement. The current technical setup here suggests a reversal with the doji and today's confirmation down thus far in the trading day. So we're looking at, I mean, you know, maybe see if we can see if it continues to cross that channel. Um, historically, the market tends to drift up into the end of the year based off of the seasonal stuff, but that's the overall scenario there. Let's take a look at some of the other major indices. The same story on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Um, close back down below the moving average, 200 period moving average. Taking a look at the NASDAQ here. Um, same story, we got the downward movement here. Um, lower high coming off of the doji uh, up in the area where those two moving averages are set to cross over so that would be another sign of downward pressure got your you know your key support zone here so we'll watch to see if that consolidates down into here and then we'll be really watching to see which way the market moves heading into the new year you'll see that reinvigoration of trading at the opening of next week uh, starting on the fourth so let's uh, look at the next sector, or next piece here. Russell 2000, Russell 2000 index is um, coming in off of known support resistance. You got the moving averages crossing over here. That's a, that's a signal of reversal coming off of a you know double top. Um, slightly upward movement here, which could be kind of bear flaggish. Um, in that regard, but overall just consolidation is what we're seeing in here. So I expect more consolidation for the market to, again, pick a direction more convincingly um, next week. So again, don't expect a ton of movement this week. Uh, the UUP, the dollar index, um, coming off of the monetary policy, raising interest rate, trading above the 200 period moving average, um, <clears throat> get a nice little pop and a drop. And if it can establish a higher low here, that would be bullish for the dollar. And I expect the dollar to strengthen with that interest rate rise. But um, that initial break retrace, it's, we want to see a higher low probably in the area of the trend zone. Um, so keep an eye on that. Again, don't expect a ton of movement this week. And then last but not least, the commodities. ETF GGC or excuse me GCC and you'll notice here we got a big gap down and it's filling that gap thus far looking for that to, that could be a possible double bottom that can be a potential sign of strength and reversal but I don't see a ton of activity You're still making lower lows and lower highs in here so you know gap down filled the gap keep an eye on that um, let's also take a quick look while we're at it at the volatility index. Let's go ahead and go grab a <clears throat> just a quick chart of the VIX. OK, 
Okay, volatility index of X here. Coming in at 1775 today. Not a real low reading. Um, certainly not as low as it's been in the past, but it's going to mean we have a little bit of volatility in the market, but we're certainly not going to see heavy premiums. So that means options on average are okay for buying. If you find a you know a higher implied volatility, they'd be good for selling. But on average, it's nothing nothing to really scream about. The market's slightly tentative at this point in time, but just slightly so. That's your basic market re overview for the broad markets. We'll double check the set the nine sector ETFs here next. Join us there.